hi everyone. This is Scrappy Kathy. I'm going to today show you a technique using spray inks. And as you can see, I've got them all lined up um, kind of in rainbow color order along with some Heidi Swap uh, color shine in gold, which I think adds something to almost every project you do. Um, first, I'm gonna show a um, the layout that um, that kind of brought the request or the the desire to do this um, video. This is one where I was kind of going for some. Um, um, I apologize for the video orientation. My um, my tripod and camera holder broke right as I was starting this video. And so I'm making do with a little clip that's attached to my ot light. So things are a little wonky. Anyway, this is a layout where I used actually the simplest of spraying techniques, but you can kind of see I went in rainbow color order. And along the way, what gave it some of its character is some of the bottles had been closed up so long they'd built up pressure and wouldn't spray. So I opened them, I shook them up, which increased the pressure, by the way. I opened them up, and as I opened them up, they sprayed on their own where, where they wanted to go. So that's the explanation for this nice uh, cherry red blotch up here. So I went with it and and I actually love it. So um, we're, we're gonna, we'll, we'll move on from there. Um, this is another layout I did. I, also the technique, I, I guess probably a technique I'm gonna show you today. I probably ought to point that out. I used, while the ink was still damp, I pressed some texture paste through the through a stencil so that it would pick up the color. And as you can see, the um, the stencil impression is very subtle because it has kind of picked up the color of the background. And you can see even here on the the red building, even though there wasn't much ink there, it picked up what was there and kind of spread it around. So it gave it some contrast. So that's kind of an interesting um, technique to use. And I'll show you where I use it again. Um, here, I used just kind of the blues and purples and pinks, uh, fuchsias um, to do this one. And I here's where I added the Heidi Swap gold color shine. I did this one with where I sprayed the colors in the background and then I used this heart stencil and sprayed that, sprayed the Heidi Swap gold color shine through that and you can kind of see some heart impressions. Let me see if I can find where they are. And by the way, when I blotted it with a paper towel roll, it left the impression in the gold and it kind of spread the gold over onto the color, which I liked, so I'm gonna try that again. Again, when I did the texture paste through the hearts, I moved the stencil a little bit and that gave me the, uh, the, the hearts. There's a gold heart, there's a pink heart, and the pink heart, I was wondering if any of the gold color shine would come up through the uh, texture paste, and it did not. So, um, so that was a, an experiment and the result. So that's kind of, that's, those are two of the latest that I've done. I'm gonna just quickly go through my, um, this particular um, art journal book. And every background in it, uh, there are other applications of paint and texture on top, but all the backgrounds in here were done with spray inks. Um, some of them messier than, than others. And like I said, there's a lot of paint that's going through and I have some pages. 
This one was one where I used the oranges and reds and pinks, and then I went over with white. I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. This one actually was a painted background. This one was spray ink and spray ink sprayed through a sense. This was also um, done with ink almost entirely. Even the black was done with ink. Um, this page was done with ink, that one too. That one, I'm trying to get to one. This is one I just uh, did the, the, I used one color. The, uh, let's see, it is, um, Crushed grape, I guess, um, and and then I used stamping and, and stuff. This is the one I wanted to show you because it's most like the technique I'm going to try for today. This one was inked with some pretty heavy sprays, starting with the turquoise and teal, and then going to the fuchsia, and then going to the pink and and the orange. And it, it kind of goes from those cool colors to the hot colors. And I've, I've, I have no idea what I wanna do with this page. This shows that the uh, paint that I used through the stencil kind of picked up some of the color. You can see, uh, I'm sorry that the light isn't great when you get up close. I've done another stencil with some um, uh, shiny, glittery, glitter paste, I guess, um, in some areas, but I haven't done, I haven't finished this one. It's, I've, I've scanned it and used it as a background for layouts, but I have no idea what I'm going to do with the real page. There's another one with ink. A lot of these others have had lots done on top of the ink, but they all started with spray ink pretty much. So that's an idea. You can use it for layouts. In this one, I'm intending to use the, the page that I'm making as a, lay, as a layout background. So I'm going to start, oh, I, the idea that I have is that I will use one or both of these stencils. One of them has a radiating pattern um, kind of going with, with straight lines. The other is a radiating pattern. Okay, so I really apologize, but I got a phone call right at the abrupt end there, um, and I went ahead and did the, lay, did the technique, and it came out looking like you see here. Um, I used washi tape to make the straight lines and sprayed each color in a circle and did the one stencil on top and it seems to be picking up the color as I had hoped. I had a whole long explanation of all of this and, um, and, and nothing to, no technique uh, process to show you. So I'm going to stop this. This is an example. This shows what I did and the steps are that I uh, used washi tape and put a strip of washi tape, sprayed some color, moved the washi tape, sprayed some more color, let the second color overlap the first and all the way around with the uh, uh, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and then I filled in with some cherry red here. Then I used this stencil to, um, to do the, the texture paste. And then I overlaid this stencil and sprayed the Heidi Swap Gold Color Shine. So this is what that came out looking like. It's still kind of wet. So I'm going to put that away. I'm gonna stop the video now and I'm gonna come back and show you a completely different, I'll show you the same technique, but with something that hopefully will look a little bit different. All right, welcome back to part three of the messed up video. Um, I'm gonna go quickly with this one. Um, I found a stencil that I thought offered me a chance at a, a different kind of technique. It's a couple part, three part stencil actually. It has the open, the backgrounds of the, uh, of the houses here. 
and then it has the detail of the houses here, and then it has some things like uh, sunshines and clouds. And so uh, I'm going to very quickly mask off the top part by uh, with just some plain copy paper. And I'm going to spray, use my spray ink on the, move things up a little bit so that you can see them better. Again, working with my uh, not ideal um, situation here. So I'm going to use, I'm gonna try to get you where, get this where you can see everything. So I'll turn it at an angle here. Um, you can see that the top part of the stencil is masked off. We'll use that later and we'll do some different masking. But for right here, I'm going to take, um, I always start with fuchsia, it seems. So I'll do uh, some spraying there and I'll then go to a, um, a bubble gum pink, maybe, and let that overlap on the next house. I'll go for some cherry pie red, and then for some post box red uh, there, and I'll make this last one kind of orange. Okay, so I'm going to use my paper towel to blot that. Um, just to make it where it's not soupy. And it's kind of interesting the, the way it's, it's turned out there. So now I'm going to move the stencil down to the detail and try to overlay those properly. If they're not perfect, that's okay because even being near the inks, they're going, it's going to um, pull up some of the color. So I'm going to do here some, uh, this is, by the way, um, Liquitex Flexible Molding Modeling Paste. And I find that it pulls the color up better than others. Uh, I had a, a more um, rigid texture paste, for lack of a better word, and it kind of tended to dry a little chalky and didn't pull up color very much. Um, and I kind of liked the color Thing. I may add some of those clouds. I'm trying to get you out of here with, and so, so this is a, uh, the least painful watching experience you can have. Um, so that's what it looks like now. I'm expecting the, um, the, the white contrast to lessen over time. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with this particular layout other than maybe try to keep it from getting some unwanted colors on it. And, uh, but we'll see, I'll, I'll post whatever I do with it. I did not use any Heidi Swap Gold on this. Um, I may, uh, if I add the, uh, the sunshine, uh, there I may try to experiment with some gold, but that won't be in the video and I will turn you loose now the challenge obviously is to spray With reckless abandon any uh, inks that you have that you want to play with um, I tend to mostly pull the tops out of the inks and splatter them down in little drops It's been a while since I've sprayed so I've enjoyed what I've been doing with the spraying lately and hope you will too. If you don't have spray inks, um, smoosh some watercolors on the paper and see if you can get texture paste or white paint to pick up the color. If you don't have any stencils, um, 
you know, try running, create some texture with a comb or um, a fork. Um, just do something different with inks or paints or textures and, um, and let's see what you come up with. I'm sure you'll come up with something gorgeous. Bye.